The revelation of a new exoplanet has stargazers energized that it very well may be for sure. Indications of something going on under the surface. For quite a long time, the fantasy about finding life past Earth has intrigued humankind. Because of the James Webb Space Telescope, that fantasy could before long turn into a reality. The telescope has uncovered an intriguing secret in Proxima Centauri, the nearest star framework to us. In the midst of its planets, Proxima B stands apart with weird counterfeit lights, leaving the logical local area perplexed and captivated. Could this be the hotly anticipated proof of keen life past our planetary group? How do researchers decide if these lights propose the presence of keen life on Proxima B? Go along with us as we dive into how the James Webb Telescope just distinguished city lights 7 trillion miles from Earth. People have forever been intensely inquisitive about the mysteries of the universe. Through mechanical advancements, our natural drive to investigate the Earth and sky keeps on pushing us. After thousands of long periods of development, Earth remains the main planet that we know to have life. As such, the age-old question endures. Are we the main occupants of the universe, or are there civic establishments concealed among the stars, simply pausing for us to track down them? To track down the response to this troublesome inquiry, two American cosmologists, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, started off a venture called Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This not-for-profit attempt intends to filter through infinite space, zeroing in on spaceborne radio transmissions. These radio waves are equipped for voyaging monstrous separates and are the essential means for potential extraterrestrial correspondence. To this end, 42 radio telescopes found in the core of the Californian outpouring mountains were painstakingly tuned to the frequencies of the universe. These radio telescopes, known as the Allen Telescope Exhibit, were intended to get any outsider signal from space. While researchers have checked the sky for dependable signs over numerous years, to date, there is no persuading proof regarding signals starting from an outsider human advancement. However, late reports from NASA recommend that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have spotted fake city lights from adjacent planets. Is there any substance to this? How about we figure it out? The successful dispatch of the James Webb Space Telescope is mankind's giant step forward in understanding the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is the most developed instrument in the historical backdrop of humankind to comprehend what the universe holds. Situated around one million miles from Earth, this giant telescope is our window to the earliest times of the universe. It brings the previously subtle observation focuses closer, revealing insight into the arrangement of systems, stars, and planets. Stargazers harness the JWST's capabilities, state-of-the-art cameras, and channels to catch and examine the mind-boggling colors surrounding heavenly objects. Through JWST, analysts are ready to separate and gather valuable data about the substance, arrangements, and actual properties of heavenly bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They accomplished this accomplishment by separating explicit frequencies of light. Beyond simple perception, JWST investigates and explores the airs of exoplanets for hints of life. Its unparalleled ability to see past the limits of reality has prompted some of the most surprising discoveries. For example, through the telescope, stargazers have discovered more mass than previously accepted to exist in the universe, hidden in several massive worlds. This finding has examined the earlier ideas concerning the format and extents of the universe. With humankind deciding to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, the JWST will be a focal device in settling the mysteries of disconnected universes and planning for new astrophysical information. Only 20 years prior, the realm beyond our planetary system remained largely unknown and without any trace of known planets. However, Astronomers have since revealed over 4,000 exoplanets circling distant stars, a remarkable demonstration of human inventiveness and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory might be the tip of the heavenly iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the enthusiastic investigation for extraterrestrial life, scientists keep on looking toward the chance of recognizing alien territories beyond where we have been before. As fate would have it, during the Galileo rocket's excursion to Jupiter, 
its spectroscopic instrument suddenly uncovered a particular spectral mark that indicated earthbound vegetation. This noteworthy discovery marks whenever researchers first have seen as a biosignature, the vegetation red edge VRE. The VRE looks at outsider life distinctively by zeroing in on the manner it mirrors light. On account of V, the JWST is expected to unveil the questions of extraterrestrial conditions. It will do this via cautiously planning the orbital boundaries of possibly habitable far-off extrasolar planets found inside the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Whenever identified, these V signs could be crucial evidence in the search for intelligent life outside our planet. It will be the beginning of a new venture for us in our quest to discover the secrets of the universe. As sunlight goes through the environmental layers, the broken-down light, which conveys various frequencies, is consumed by the particles and atoms in these layers. This ingestion gives rise to a run-of-the-mill otherworldly example, like restrictive fingerprints that can be interpreted through spectroscopic examination. It is conjectured that when light from a star arrives at a planet, the JWST will actually want to distinguish it as it enters the planet's environment. Thus, the JWST could be the key to unveiling the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, a fundamental sign of their potential for Earth-bound life. Earth-sized planets flaunting atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide like Earth could hold conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of predicted elements or the presence of unusual mixtures could imply alternative forms of life or even mechanical civilizations. Interestingly, found chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds principally used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could assist researchers in proving the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST observes such counterfeit particles in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will open new areas of strength for extraterrestrial activity outside our planetary group. This represents a very intriguing endeavor for astronomical scientists, opening a new door into the climatic organizations of different worlds and the possibility of exotic civilizations well beyond the Milky Way. Certainly, the discovery about existence beyond our planet is characterized by several prospects that go beyond the limitations of natural science. While we often imagine life as we know it thriving in calm environments like ours, the reality might prove considerably more varied and extreme. For example, extremophiles, an intriguing group of organisms predominantly made up of microorganisms, challenge what we understand as a suitable living space. These hardy life forms can easily survive and even thrive in conditions that are generally described as very severe. Extremophiles can endure even the most adverse conditions with temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and pH levels under 3. They are amazing examples of the toughness of living things under difficult circumstances. As such, the limitless dynamics of the universe and the countless conditions associated with it let us know that our quest for extraterrestrial life should be broad. However, the reference planets resembling Earth and orbiting around stable sun-like stars provide valid potential opportunities. We should also contemplate alternative scenarios. Prime candidates for investigation might include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, which are more abundant in the universe. However, despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun, these stars offer great opportunities to explore the potential for life in different conditions. The long life expectancy of red dwarf stars provides ample opportunity for the slow, complex cycles of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Found approximately 40 light years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system entices as a prime focus for the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST mission. This stunning system, consisting of a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, circles the tranquil red dwarf star. Three of these identified planets are designated as habitable planets and may likely have water on their surfaces. Although it is smaller and cooler than our sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits a gentle and Earth-like light that is suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the different stars in the cosmic region, Proxima Centauri arises as a reference point of potential, a distance of just 4.25 light-years from the sun, which makes Proxima Centauri the closest star to our own. This star can be seen in its faint gleam. It is, in fact, barely noticeable amid the darkness of the night sky. 
However, its weak radiance implies that any habitable planets circling it should keep a close distance. The distance of any habitable planet to Proxima Centauri should be approximately 20 times closer than Earth to the Sun. Without fulfilling this condition, none of its planets can support life-supporting circumstances like our planet. In an enrapturing discovery on August 24, 2016, cosmologists found a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth situated inside Proxima's habitable zone. This Goldilocks-like region offers a delicate balance of light intensity as it is perfectly suited to melt ice for water and potentially sustain the seeds of life. Proxima b is a galactic catch-22, circling around Proxima Centauri, its host star. This planet, which is surprisingly just 4.6 million miles from its small red star, has many circumstances undermining its ability to support life. Proxima b is exceptionally close to its host star, Proxima Centauri, which exposes it to strong solar winds that can strip away its atmosphere and make it barren. However, notwithstanding these numerous severe conditions, Proxima b basks in the illumination of its small star, receiving sufficient sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in the liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking. This, in turn, leads to one side of the equator being subjugated with constant extreme sunlight while the other experiences absolute darkness. The situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in our planetary system. With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri produces a weak gleam by emitting substantially less light than expected. Combined with its proximity to Proxima b, just 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri defies conventional assumptions. It suggests that Proxima b might not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential loss of its atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling possibilities. If it holds a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water might or might not exist on its surface, opening the door to the captivating possibility of habitability beyond Earth. With Proxima b receiving only 65% of Earth's total solar energy, its prospects for fostering life are quite low. The planet's potential state of tidal locking creates extreme temperature differentials between its scorching day and cold night. These harsh conditions, compounded by the planet's proximity to Proxima Centauri, subject Proxima b to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Moreover, Proxima b is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups. Unless the planet boasts a protective magnetic field like Earth, these bombardments could strip away its atmosphere, taking away the conditions essential for life to flourish. Sensible modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima b may experience rapid atmospheric breakdown as volatile gases freeze out on the night side. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima b lacks such mechanisms for atmospheric replenishment. The secrets surrounding Proxima b extend beyond its surface conditions to its actual potential for harboring advanced civilizations. Up until now, our current knowledge offers little insight into Proxima b's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the enticing possibility of an atmosphere fuels speculation about the planet's actual potential for hosting life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b would suggest the existence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The mission to uncover signs of natural developments on Proxima b has strengthened, driven by the hypothesis that such organisms might have devised clever solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One interesting concept suggests the deployment of massive solar chargers across Proxima b's dayside. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side. Such an undertaking could transform the desolate landscape into habitable zones that can support life. The new discovery of Proxima b has also ignited a heated race among astronomers to determine if it crosses its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, thus working out its density, confirming its rocky composition, and offering insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Additionally, starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these transits provides clues about the structure of its atmosphere and its habitability. Despite the challenges, the search to unravel the mystery of Proxima b remains a priority, 
fueled by the insatiable human thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms outside our solar system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's turbulent nature, which is capable of significant flares. This increases the complexity of investigating the habitable universe of Proxima b. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as unstable, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets typically absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima's case differs. Its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, Proxima Centauri, presenting a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, acts as the savior, as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima's unique infrared intensity signature is what will help us discover the secret secrets of its climate. The state-of-the-art infrared imaging capabilities of the JWST are fully equipped to reveal the secret of Proxima B's atmospheric components and provide novel insights into the possibilities of living on it. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends investigation to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting challenge of detecting faint artificial illumination against immense darkness, the JWST's advanced technology enables it to observe even the slightest flickers of light. The James Webb Space Telescope will be capable of confirming the rumors about city lights on Proxima B's night side, even if they were as weak as the lights we currently use at night. The telescope can detect artificial illumination provided it falls within a frequency band 1,000 times narrower than the starlight. Proxima B's unique climate presents a fascinating relationship between its surface features and celestial interactions. The planet's day side, if filled with many solar chargers, will harness the star's radiant energy while its spectral edge efficiently reflects incoming light rays. As Proxima B completes its orbit around its host star, its 24-7 sides experience identical cycles characterized by mild daytime highs and cool nighttime lows. However, the degree of temperature variations depends on the planet's structure. If Proxima B lacks an atmosphere, the difference between its perpetual sides would be wide. Without the moderating effect of atmospheric gases and oceans, the day side would radiate heat like a black body, while the night side plunges into cold darkness. By observing the extent of temperature variation, astronomers can gain valuable insights into Proxima's climatic structure. With its unmatched infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST will scrutinize the planet's thermal emissions, providing invaluable data about its atmospheric properties. Remarkably, the JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima's orbital period, facilitating continuous observations of both its day and night sides within 11.2 Earth days. Assuming that Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its atmospheric chemistry to see if it can support life. Certain gases, such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, are good indicators of habitable conditions and the possible existence of life. However, the analysis requires meticulously capturing and examining light beams interacting with or passing through Proxima's atmosphere, an inherently challenging endeavor. Although the James Webb Space Telescope provides significant opportunities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, its primary mission is different. The telescope is primarily tuned to examine the variations in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentration. Although it is limited in detecting reinforced oxygen, a strong signature of life, JWST may still have reasons to search for other substances. This includes ozone, which could provide information about the natural level of energy in the planet's atmosphere. Also, the JWST doesn't have absolute capabilities, and its gaze is limited to a few of the closer and potentially habitable worlds. To conduct a more comprehensive atmospheric analysis, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, planned to start operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. Its data will provide remarkable insight into their habitability. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, remains a crucial tool.